Ladies and gents, 2.7 livestream has been announced. Now Genshin Impact's Twitter account has announced that there will be a 2.7 preview in the upcoming future, which is this Friday. And a lot of people want to know what is going to be happening in the live stream. Now, personally, I think that Sumeru will be teased in this upcoming live stream. They did something similar last year with Inazuma where they had Ayaka talk about the region a little bit and they showed us a little bit of the nice cool animations that they had about the regions like some pictures and personally I really want to see that. I want to see what they're doing, what they're thinking and how they're going to proceed with Sumeru. So it is really exciting to get some sort of information if they do decide to make a little preview reveal in this upcoming 2.7 live stream. Now obviously we are going to be having a 2.8 update so it's not going to be instantly released right after. 3.0 is probably going to be around August, September and that is when you should you know expect Sumeru. But for now, a preview will be nice and a new character such as Sino might be revealed similar to how they revealed Ayaka's, you know, the whole and narrator for the new region. So we might get to see Sino to be the narrator for the new region Sumeru as well. We might get to see maybe some Dendro stuff. They might talk about some Dendro stuff here and there, maybe the reactions and what it does. If they do that, it is going to be a massive reveal from Genshin Impact. And I personally cannot wait for that to happen. And if it does happen, that is some big stuff to talk about. A lot of people are going to be making a lot of videos and you know, speculations and stuff. I personally am just really excited for the character reveal as well from Yellen, as well as Kuki Shinobu. Some cool stuff coming around in the you know, upcoming live stream. And hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. Obviously, we're going to have maybe some stuff about the reruns. We might get to see maybe a Yoimiya rerun, an Ito rerun, or a Xiao rerun is what I think was speculated. Something along those lines. So I'm really excited for that as well. So if we want to talk specifics about those reruns, Xiao is one of my favorite Genshin characters. Not only is he an animal character, but he is also one of the coolest, you know, most mobile, independent characters in the game, making him such an awesome character to play. Not to mention, he is badass and he has a polearm. Every polearm user is pretty much fun. And this character is so easy to build. The artifacts of, obviously we didn't have a really good artifact for him for a long time. But now you can farm the new domain and get the Vermilion set and just place it on him and it will work a wonder. He's a character that doesn't need constellations at all and his talents will pretty much carry him for the entirety of the time. So you guys don't really have to worry about that too much. And he is such an awesome character to have. I really love playing Xiao. He is so unique, so awesome and I highly recommend if he does make a rerun that you guys do summon on him. He is awesome. I'll be making more videos on him as well, maybe on his new artifact set. And if I do get a better artifact set for him, you know, the better pieces, I'll also make a video on that as well. So stay tuned for that. Now for Ito, Ito is also an awesome character. I really love how unique Ito is as well. Super awesome. Tallest character in the game, I think for right now. He does wield a Claymore, making him really interesting as well. Currently, I am using the R5 of the White Blind, so he can increase both of his attack and defense and it is super awesome to have not to mention his constellations do like really do make him good at c6 but i think c2 is where you want to pretty much stop and c6 is really you know game breaking his talents i crowned ushi but obviously you don't have to do that you most have to just focus on his elemental burst where he increases your attack bonus that is going to be pretty much it ito is an awesome character but he is definitely dependent on his support so if you have goru i highly suggest you guys do level him up and make goru an important part of your geo team ito needs a geo team he really does and if you have a support like goro he will work wonders for you and make your team uh, your geo team work really well together especially if you have albedo as well or if you have Noel, even you could use Goro with Noel and they will work well together. If you have C4, Goro can also work as a healer. So I highly suggest that you guys do build Goro if you want an Ito as well. And I think that is pretty much it. That's going to cover all that we have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. That would be mean so much to me. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So that'd be awesome if you guys, if you guys can help me get there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.